Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me for a video. Uh, this is going to be a quick one. We are just going to rip open two packs of 1991 Topps Baseball. So I picked up a hobby box of this stuff or a bot wax box of this stuff uh, years ago at my local shop for like 10 bucks. Uh, only because I just really enjoy the imagery in this set. I know these aren't worth anything, but if you like nice photographs and uh, clean design and sort of a significant release in, in the overall uh, tops canon, in my opinion, you can't go wrong with this set. Um, so I leave it sitting on the shelf, the box, and every so often I grab a pack or two on a rainy day and just rip in and enjoy it. Um, I, I guess I'm hand collating a set in that I do keep my uh, extras that are not duplicates and sort them in, but it's certainly not something I'm pursuing with any vigor. Uh, it's more just about the entertainment factor for me of being able to rip open these packs and, and, and take a trip back in time to uh, the summer of 1991 when I was uh, an eight-year-old kid scooping up these packs at the Little League field and the local card shop and ripping and trading with my brothers. Uh, I will not be eating this now rock-hard gum. So I'm sorry, but you will not get to experience that on this video. So let's see what I got in the first pack here. We got Kirk Gibson, a fantastic photograph of Lou Whitaker here. Uh, I know 1991 Tops, it's the old classic uh, actual cardboard stock. And so the images are maybe slightly grainy or not quite as crystal clear as what you began to see in like 1993 and forward. But... I'm telling you that there are some of the most underrated photographs uh, used in, in the entire Topps history on some of the cards in this set. Uh, and this is a nice example here with Lou Whitaker. We've got Lance Johnson speeding out of the box there. It's a fitting photograph. Hall of Famer Tom Glavin, nice early career card of his. And this one does a good job of illustrating, you know, as they did with some other designs like 1988 Topps comes to mind. They did, in some cases, have the player sort of overlap the border to create a little bit of a 3D effect on these. Next up, we have Steve Finley of the O's. Jamie Moyer. So he's, uh, I enjoy collecting uh, ageless wonders, is what I call them. They're just guys who seem to last in Major League Baseball or any sport, for that matter, well beyond the age at which most other uh, folks are able to play. And so, obviously, Jamie Moyer is front and center in that small collection for me. I mean, a guy that lasted well into his 40s and uh, was still somewhat effective at an age that amazes me. So, uh, you know, he and Julio Franco and Bartolo Colon and other guys like that are uh, always a, a hit for me. Here's Jack Doherty. Uh, in every one of these packs, you got an instant win game card. And for some reason, in this first pack here, I received two of them. That's fine. Second half of the pack, we have Steve Lake, sporting a nice mullet there. Brad Arnsberg. Here's a nice Cal Ripken Jr. record breaker. So uh, when I was a kid, the, sort of the holy trinity for me of players I was a fan of, active players, was Nolan Ryan, Will Clark, and Cal Ripken Jr. So would have been very, very excited to have pulled this card from a pack back in 91. Here's Johnny Ray. Jim Leyland, pretty awesome card there. He's a baseball lifer, of course. Jeff Russell, Jay Buhner. And closing out that pack, we have future star Rich Garces. Uh, so interesting first pack there. I would say probably the Ripken was my favorite of everything that I pulled out of there. So we'll stick that one uh, front and center as we open up the second pack. Let's see what we got here in this one. No inserts or anything like that. Um, uh, I think they may have had glossy all-stars and like the rack packs as they did in all of their sets at this time, but there are not any insert cards to be found in the standard packs. You know, this is just a normal base set with 792 cards from a simpler time. Here's uh, Sergio Valdez. Dave Val or Valley. I do not know how to pronounce that. Ken Daly, Junior Ortiz, here's a nice photo, Ray Palacios, 
Not sure what is going on there, but that does not look like proper form to me. I'm not a baseball coach, but Danny Tartable, who I remember better with the Yankees than the Royals, and of course makes me think of Seinfeld. There's Milt Thompson ducking out of the way of uh, some high inside heat, I would say. Uh, once again, got two instant win cards in this pack, so maybe they all have two, and I'm just remembering that wrong. Jeff Kaiser. Rick Honeycutt. Greg Hibbard. Nice. I uh, just mentioned a moment ago, but the uh, the three big players to me growing up were Nolan Ryan, Will Clark, and Cal Ripken. So pretty cool to pull uh, Ripken and Ryan record breakers out of these two packs. I would have been a happy nine-year-old with this return. Alan Mills. Greg Myers. Frank Tanana. And Chuck Finley All-Star. So... Quick look back there at uh, cards that are amazingly now 30 years old, which is kind of crazy to say, but uh, it's always fun to grab a couple of those off the shelf and take a stroll down memory lane. And I appreciate you joining me as I did that today. Uh, would love to hear any uh, feedback that you have on the 91 top set in the comments below. And in the meantime, I'll be back soon with more content. Take care.